Thank you for tuning into or watching the Choice, Change and Action podcast. My name is Simone Millicis and I am your host. Your choice creates your future. Every choice you make, action you take, you create a change for you and the world. Please enjoy this podcast. Don't take it too seriously. Don't take me too seriously. Don't trust me. Trust you. You are the one that knows what will work for you. And have way too much fun enjoying your choices. Hey everybody, so I just did a podcast with my beautiful, wonderful friend Kalpana and it is called Would an Infinite Being Choose This? There is so, this is, it's such a cool tool. It's one of the uh, tools of access consciousness. Would an infinite being choose this? You can just really start with that. It's like, whatever you're choosing today, ask, would an infinite being choose this? We talk about what an infinite being is. An infinite being basically has no judgment. You have no limits. Anything is possible and everything is possible. So please enjoy this podcast. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please, can you do me a favor and subscribe, write a review, share this, do all of that sort of stuff and subscribe because then you'll get the show notes. So thanks everybody. Bye. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Choice Change Action Podcast. So today I am in at my home in Prigium Beach. I've just come back from the Middle East, and I am here with the lovely, amazing lady, Kalpana. Welcome, Kalpana. Thank you, Simone. Hello, everybody. And are you at home as well? I am, actually. Where is your home at the moment? At the moment, that's in the Netherlands, and I will start to travel again in a few days on Saturday, a few days to go before I'm on the road. Ah, uh, interesting. Okay, so it's funny because Kalpana and I have a call coming up at the end of February and it's called Would an Infinite Being Choose This? So I wanted to have a chat to Kalpana um, about this and, and I said, let's do a podcast because we can, you know, start start the conversation about Would an Infinite Being Choose This? And the tool from Access Consciousness, right? It's a question. Would an infinite being choose this? And if an infinite being wouldn't choose it, why are you, okay? Because in access consciousness, one of the things that we talk about is you are an infinite being. You're not a finite being. Even though we all pretend to be finite beings when we do trauma and drama and we choose against ourselves and we're like, that's finite being, exactly. And if you're watching, Kalpana just did the beautiful motion of just like that, that hand on the forehead of just like, Dios mio, mio Dio, Allah. Like I've just been in the middle of the day. So they're all like, Allah. (laughs) And that's what we've, that's what we've actually learned our whole entire life is to react, is to have this need of reactive reality to something. Most of the time, if you choose happy, if you choose joy, if you have ease, if you have this great, amazing life, It's not something that most people accept. You make people really uncomfortable when you function as an infinite being. So as an infinite being, we talk about that you have the ability to perceive everything, know everything, be everything, and perceive, know, be, and receive. Jesus, perceive, know, be, and receive. Um, Yeah. You know, it's early. I um, I just think... (laughs) It's early morning for me at the moment in Australia and I'm so used to Middle Eastern time and I was like, hey, body, and it's like if we wake up at 8.30 a.m. in Australia, everything's over. you got to get with it, okay? Get with it. (laughs) Exactly. So we wanted to talk about would an infinite being choose this? And you just mentioned travel. I've been looking at this. Like last night I I looked at my schedule because I just got home from the Middle East and it was amazing. It's like a freaking time warp though. Hmm. It's like I was away for I think two and a half weeks and it was like was I here a year like it, it just <laughs> and it was amazing and it was great and ever since um you know 2020 when we sort of ended up at home uh and then did a lot of online classes and I really yeah. was traveling so much and then when we got back into traveling I wasn't I, I'm being like I'm holding the undecided card of what I would like to choose and I've been mm-hmm. really throwing everything up in the air going what works for me and what works for my body and only just recently is one of the things that I looked at was 
oh, I think I like doing these travel these travel when I do a chunk. Like I did two months in Europe last year and I really liked it. And I'm doing mm. two months in Europe this year again. And I'm actually just rearranging my schedule in the last 24 hours and going to do two months in South America and change a few things around because I've been looking at if I keep doing what I've always done, where's my body going to be at with this? Like I, I need to, you know, take into consideration what my body is asking for as well. So wouldn't an infinite being choose to work with their body? Absolutely. And as you do, you would perceive no being received what is available, what you can choose and what you can change with no judgment. And that's such a key piece. So you just mentioned travel, Kalpana, your schedule is also like really interesting because you've added choice for possibilities to your, you know, repertoire and yeah. you're about to be, you know, unleashed on your own for doing choice exactly. for possibilities classes. And also in August, you're going to be doing um, co-facilitating an advanced body class with Gary Douglas in India. So hopefully by the time this, this podcast is out, that'll actually be up online and you guys can there jump on. are actually right now online. So okay, there So it's there. So yeah. and then and then you'll be unleashed into the world too for advanced body classes. But yes. you also have another career, which is like most people would would have that just as their career. You know what I mean? <laughs> so and this is um, your dance company and I know I spoke to you in the last few days and you've been you know busy writing away for a, a grant etc and how this is going to look in, in the future and I can see your schedule and I can see and there's these days it's like rehearsal 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 and then there's a CFP and then there's this and when you said you were about to start traveling again what I'm going to I'm just going to flat out ask you too how is that working for you like the amount of travel and looking at today and looking at the future and what you you, you as an infinite being would choose because the one piece so I know I'm not letting you in here to talk I'm going to in a second because I'm looking at you're an infinite being I'm an infinite being you have choices I have choices and part of being an infinite being is not choosing based on what somebody else would choose it's choosing based on what works for you and your body yeah yeah that's it and that's the key also really the body so we are all infinite beings and then it's the body that makes us this infinite being in a way like the body makes that in a way personalized or whatever word you want to add to it and for me with my traveling and uh, my dance company I am going to be doing some fun stuff like co-facilitate the choice for possibilities class in New York and land in the morning like I have one day free after and I fly to uh, back to Amsterdam and I go straight to the to the studio because the next because we have a replacement dancer and she really requires that rehearsal and I require to be there and I really all it's two ways I really ask my body is this going to work for us then not like now mentally is it going to work then and that's that part of the perceiving the future willing to know and be what's required to receive that. Thank you for that. You just, I, I love the way we work because thank you. Cause I don't get, that's what I've been choosing from a lot. I get so excited about traveling and I get so excited about going to different places and facilitating classes. And there's, there's, there's like one of my favorite <laughs> things in the world is facilitating access consciousness and And especially being live in a class and having these bodies. And when you see people change in front of you, you're just like, fuck yeah, like this is amazing. This is awesome too. I mean, the tagline of access consciousness is empowering you to know that you know. And so for me, it's such a thrill. So I'm like, well, I'd like to facilitate every weekend. I'd like to go every single country and every single city in in the world. And my body's like, hey, can we have a chat? (laughs) (laughs) hello (laughs) you you know but that's actually how I have been with my body for years I think is sort of like Mm -hmm. that energy like what do you want now so I love that tool of when you're looking at the schedule of what am I going to be like then like body how much time are you going to need off and I'm actually really grateful for my assistant because she tries and I say try because she (laughs) tries to she literally puts in my calendar um Simone you know, rest day or Simone, no, no meetings. Or oh. Simone, no meetings. Yeah. And she tries to do it for two to three days after a major class. 
and I am forever going, well, I could, I could fit that podcast in, or I could do that, <laughs> or I could just, I could do that Zoom. Only in the past, say, six or eight months since I've had mm-hmm. some stuff show up with my body where my body sort of slammed me into, you better friggin' listen to me or I'm, I'm literally going to kill you. Um, well. Have I started to go, okay, Pamela, you're correct. I will <laughs> take some space. And just coming back from the Middle East, I realised I really needed that. Like today is my most full-on day since I've been back and yeah. I've had three days and I've had different, a couple, one or two things on. But I required that. I really, my yeah. body and myself really required that moment. And I get somewhere in my world, I was like, if I was an infinite being, I could just keep pushing. Yeah. And that's not true. No. And I totally recognize this thing of like, we can so many things. Like, we can do so many things. And I've done a lot of things that I'm like, wow, okay. And then there's the thing of like, I can do it. And is it kind? And sometimes oh, I can, right. it's kind. Sorry. I said that old question. Is it kind? Oh, that one. Oh. <laughs> and sometimes it's actually great. It's like, it's fine. I go to the class and I go to the stu- theater or I go into the studio and I'm like checking. Okay. Yeah. It's kind and it's fun and it's great. Sometimes it's like I could, but oof. That's actually really not kind. And that that differentiation is where we, that's, I think, where we require to really, in a way, allow that information to sink in because the excitement overrides it, right? Yeah. So let's talk about a tool for that because one of the tools I use is to indulge. Hmm. And so like say my Europe trip um, this year is two months. And I have played with it like for quite some time and looked at different things and changed things around. And and that's what I will personally do. I will put things on the schedule on our back end schedule. So no one sees or except about 20 people, (laughs) but (laughs) it's, um, we have a system. If it's highlighted in yellow, it doesn't mean anything. It's like, it's just like, it's landing there, you know, and I've swapped things around and then I had, you know, the CFP somewhere, this class. And then I went, uh, I, I could perceive the molecules in my body start to tighten up and I went, oh, mm-hmm. no. So instead I'm going to go to the castle and spend like a week or 10 days at the castle. Mm-hmm. And even just now when I say it, like I you know, uh-huh. I can see you, you just went, your body relaxed, no. my body relaxed yeah. at the castle, you know. And I've made sure I've sort of really looked at the timings and what I've got on. And I spoke to Francesca, who we work with, um, and last night, and she asked me a couple of questions about it. And I was grateful for the questions and get someone, get someone who is not going to align and agree with you and get them to ask mm-hmm. you some questions. And I said, no, I'm good with this. Cause I, and I was, I indulged in the whole schedule. And I went, I'm good with this two months here. But what I've done is I've rearranged my schedule for Americas and I'm changing the ABC in Mexico up to August and also the CFP in Medellin, Colombia to to August as well amazing letting that land there and now here's the interesting thing is Gary said to me quite about three or four years ago Simone you've managed to change the world by controlling the schedule now what if you just changed the world and I that is like you know how Gary will give you a tool and you hear it but you don't really hear it and then you hear it and like that wedge just lands and lands and in the last few weeks, it's really been landing in my world and the vulnerability I've been looking at with having to trust other people as well, like mm-hmm. trust other people that they will be as great as what I know access consciousness can be and what they can be and let go of that control of so many different areas. And like last night when I was sleeping, I, I was indulging in changing this up. I was like, okay, let, I said to Francesca, let me sleep on this and indulging in what this would be. And just before I met with you, Calpner, I, I met with Sylvia and Francesca, who we work with also, and went, hey. And Sylvia immediately went, oh. And I could feel her body relax. And she went, that's so much lighter. And I was like, wow. And so wow. how many things are you choosing where you're pushing against something and using this level of force in order to keep something you chose in place? What for? to A, please others, B, um, never change your quote-unquote mind. It's like, or control things, like force things, conclude, get the Be consistent. 
Yeah. yeah, be consistent. Oh my God, God forbid that an infinite being would change their mind. You know, <laughs> I am using 10 second increments. So everything that that is and everywhere that you are choosing your life based on that, will you destroy and uncreate it? Oh, oh yes. Right. Rock at all nine pot box shorts, boys, povas, and beyonds. Yeah. And it, I love the actually the let me sleep on it. That yeah. expression, you just gave us the awareness of what that actually energetically does. The let me sleep on it is actually let that land in my world and let me see what that creates in those hours of sleep when my mind is yeah. not in the way, you know? Oh, so this is actually a process yeah. that I ran as I was um, going to sleep last night. And I love this process is what energy, space, consciousness, choice, magic, miracles, mysteries, possibilities, power and potency can my body and I be? that would allow us to have total clarity and ease with all of this. And everything at that is times a godzillion where you're destroying and uncreated. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pot, shorts, boys, powers, and beyonds. It just creates so much space just hearing that question. It's so powerful. Well, we try and work. I mean, Gary gave me that process years ago when I was had to have a conversation with a staff member and I had already decided that they a didn't want to do the job that they shouldn't be doing the job that da, 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 like all this stuff and I was trying to figure out this conversation and Gary went why and I said what if I say this and he went mm -hmm. he said well that will get you the result you think you want and I was like god damn and I was like yeah. so correct and he said what if you just ask truth in your head do you still want this job and it was a game changer for me, Kalpana, because I was like, wow, if I do that, there's no planning of a conversation. And we, <laughs> had, we had such a good conversation. And I asked her that question and she said, actually, no. Wow. And then we it opened up this whole conversation to, well, what is it that you would like to contribute to? And it ended up changing this whole trajectory of, of what she was choosing and how she was contributing to access consciousness. Now, if I'd wow. gone in there like a, a bulldozer going, like, this is what it's going to be, then there's no infinite possibilities there. So wow. it's like, what is going to be, you know, choose to control everything? The answer is no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've been there, done that. And, exactly. Uh, you can create a lot. But you can create more as an infinite being. And with more ease also. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, but how much, how much is that not considered like a, something that is a contribution is that ease? We tend to. Well, totally ease is, uh, it's kind of like, if you don't, you know, the suffering and the pushing against and the hard work is the valuable thing in this reality. And when it's ease, it's like, come on, can't be worth anything. If it's that, that easy, that, that smooth, there's nothing that you're pushing against, you know. There's no proof of power in that pushing, which is not even real power. And, okay, so here's another tool as well is, because I know there's a lot of people that we work with and mm. a lot of people who have been there, done that, out there in the workforce who are always trying to prove their value rather than just be valuable. And mm. I've also been there, done that. And it, it's, it's, I remember so many years ago, so many years ago I was traveling economy with Gary <laughs> on a plane oh. and he looked at me and he goes you have less porcupine spikes and I went what like <laughs> I'm not a porcupine and and I said what do you mean and he said well someone who is always judging themselves and always looking to prove their worth he said it's like sitting next to them and they have all these porcupine spikes wow <gasps> you have less porcupine spikes and I realized at that moment it was easier for him to be around me Mm, wow. be around me to engage in a conversation or just be around me and sit next to me wow. and I went oh and from that moment it was just years ago from that moment I went I'd like to have no porcupine spikes yeah and one of the questions that I used to ask a lot was am I trying to prove something with sharing this mm. that's am beautiful yeah, am I trying to prove anything? Because if you weren't trying to prove anything, what would you choose as an infinite being? Mm, that's stunning. Oof. That is time to good see and can we destroy and uncreate it? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine pot box shorts, boys, poets, and beyonds. An infinite being has nothing to prove. There's like in that infinite being, there's so much relaxation because everything is. Mm. Wow. 
Mm. Hey, I'm going to ask for your help on something because this is up yeah. in my way, right? And and this is, we're on a podcast, but why not? Is Hello. what actually, one of the things that came up for me is changing my schedule means that I will be home for the month of March and April. Mm. I have like one thing online scheduled already, my getting out of debt joyfully in April. And, and I would, this is another thing I'd really like to do is uh, Joy Business has a class. It's a one day class. Uh, called access uh, business and money right and I would like to change it and I would like to change it to I don't know working title access profit business and money mm. and change that up based on a class that Gary and Dane just did earlier this year and it was so phenomenal and I'm just like oh my god so I <laughs> already went, okay I'd like to do that in March and have that over two days like half days etc mm. but I also went to my schedule's not filled. I don't have anything. What am I going to create? And I also, I found myself going, well, that means I make no money. Or that means Mm. there's hardly any money showing up. And I went, that's not my reality. So here's what I do is when shit like that shows up in my world, I call someone who I know is not going to align and agree with me because you don't want a buddy who's going to align and agree with you and go, oh my God, it's going to you want someone to ask you a question. So I'm asking you to up on a live on this podcast. I love that. What would you ask me? Like what, as an infinite being, like, you know, as I get an infinite being wouldn't try and fill it up. They'd actually allow the space, which scares the living fucking shit out of me. Sorry, and I'm yeah, to- everything. I'm yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. And- that space that you're looking at, like kind of like this empty canvas, is that only scary or is that also some, what else is there? Okay, so I would say it's, um, oof, it almost makes my body cry, which is interesting. Mm. The difference, guys, when you cry, all ladies know how to cry from manipulation. We're not talking that. It's like, no. and then when you cry, like from gratitude or something, but then there's this energy that comes up where your body is finally relieved that you're listening to it, or your body is finally like, is, and so sometimes when you're crying, ask, is that me or my body? And just mm. let your body cry if that's what's showing yeah. up. It's not weak. Um, no. But I can, I can perceive that energy in my body. So um, oh, I get like, it's the, I've always been so busy. Like my whole yeah. life, I've just mm. been so busy and doing stuff. Like before Access, you know, having my own business, quite a few different businesses, and you know what it's like when you have your own business too. There's always something to do. Right. I never understand when someone goes, how do you get motivated? And I'm like, um, open my eyes up. <laughs> Wake up in the morning. <laughs> but I do like to fill things up. So that space is like... Yeah. I don't know. It's sort of got this energy of what if. I'm not even sure what the what if is. It's the thing you said about like, you know, like really I would, this reality stuff, like if I'm not working, is money coming or what would I do? Mm. And if, as an, if you would be functioning as an infinite being, would those questions actually be real for you? No, I would ask, I would ask like what else is possible. And I've already got like, I've been trying to work on this other business book, which is great. For so long and it needs nah. the space, you know, and I've got ebooks that I'd like to work on and I've got other projects that I'd like to work on. And one of the things that I have been asking for, like from the beginning of this year, is I would really like Joy of Business to be so out there in the world. Like mm. access consciousness tools in every business to me is just gold. And totally. I was looking at um you know, the difference between governments running our countries and businesses running our countries. Huge. Used to function from businesses, you yeah. know. It's yeah. like we, we used to have the old towns of a sheriff, et cetera. Exactly. It, it's essentially businesses, you know. And, yeah. and I'd like to, what would it take to empower every person out there to any idea that they have to know that they can actually create it and contribute mm. to them in some way? One of the things I am looking at is doing a Joy Business membership that will be probably ridiculously cheap and having like a call a month on business Mm -hmm. and a call a month on money and you can come and go as you please and and do something like that because open to the world, you know. So 
I get allowing myself that space too is yeah what can I create with that yeah because it's like your body has asked for this space and there's this space of relaxation that opens up yeah and then what is waiting for you in that like what new things and different things are waiting for you that if you wouldn't have to fill up the space you could allow them to show up Uh, and you can can fill up the space yeah so everywhere that I'm trying to fill up the space and you're trying to fill up the space ladies and gentlemen where you destroy and create it Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine pot, pot, shorts, boys, povads, and beyonds. Let the space be. It's yeah. sort of like that. If I have that much space, will I fail? Well, an infinite being wouldn't fail. Yeah, exactly. And how much have we learned that if we're not doing, we're not contributing. We're not creating. Yeah. I think that's one of the big ones that get us out of that infinite being. Uh, where it's like I actually don't have to do 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 to anything and giving yourself that permission to function from that space and that's a whole new thing especially with you having so many balls in the air so many things all the time like a gift for you and your body and for all those creations that are actually waiting for you that are like I'm also going to say thank you to you here on this podcast Calpana because I've spoken to you you know privately and said how grateful I am that you have come along and you are facilitating classes because it's given me a space to not have this like I've got to go here, 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 here and here. Yeah. And I I got off the phone to you the other day and um, I was talking to Sarah and I went, God, I love that lady. I went, she's so cool. It's like the way she looks at everything, because you do, you look at everything from this perspective from a business space, but also a contributory space. And like what what does the world require? And that's one of the things that we are looking at in access consciousness. Yeah. How do we balance the earth? Yeah. You know, where can we go that balances the earth? If it wasn't about all the people, what's the earth asking for? And that's a that's a big thing in my world too. What is oh. the earth? Oh, thank you. What is the earth asking for? And everything it doesn't allow you to perceive as an infinite being would perceive what the earth is asking for and receive that with ease, joy, and glory. We destroy and uncreate it. All right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, book, shorts, boys, pop ads, and beyonds. And I know how much you love Australia. And yeah, being that's, that's- Australia with your body yeah. and the space, that combination. It's changed a lot, though, over the years, I'd say. Like, if I came home, you know, a couple of days ago and I went, I'm even going, why do I live in Australia? It's so far away. But I can't come up with somewhere else in the world that I would yeah. that I would go, well, that's the place I want to live. And and I have been, over the years, I've definitely been very um, ooh, righteous about Australia. Mm. And I, I changed that a couple of years ago, for sure, because I... It was like I was separating Australia from the rest of the world and yeah. the land here is amazing. But, man, the mm-hmm. land in – I just went to Egypt. Holy shit. Every person in the world should go to Egypt and that changes your life. It changes your soul. Um, mm-hmm. I did a, a, a tour of the Great Pyramid and of the Sphinx, a private tour. So we got to go right down next to the Sphinx and – Man, walking around that and touching the Sphinx is incredible. And then the oh. Great Pyramid is like, we went um, we went up to what they call the King's Chamber and you go up there and you're like, there wasn't a King buried here. Like the whole map that they have outside, I asked our guide and she goes, no, it's all incorrect, but the government just haven't fixed it yet. It oh. is, it's, it's wild to go there. And honestly, it's like time stands still. And mm-hmm. you ask about, you know, who built this stuff what was here what do i know and it's like that Mm. for me is like accessing that infinite being of of what you are aware of we Mm. went um i was with uh two friends of ours david kubis and and gaia and we're on a private tour and we had this section in in, uh the great pyramid i went is there anywhere else we can go see and the guy (laughs) said no special permission from the government we were like oh and so we're walking around and we're just like asking questions and enjoying it. And it's really super hot inside. It's like a sauna. And <laughs> we come across this little gate area and it's padlocked. And we were like, what's in there? 
And um, he said, that's the area that you go down to, to the afterlife. And David goes, do you have a key? <laughs> and the guy looks and he goes, yes. And we went, well, can we go in? Let's go. <laughs> and the guy looked at his, and he just looked and he went, okay. And he unlocked it. And it was so amazing. And he said, look, he said, it's really hard to get down there and you're going to need water. And, it, you know, do you really want to do this? And we were like, fuck yeah. And You're ready. He, he didn't even go down with us. He stayed at the top. There was another guy who went down with us, and David went down first. And pretty much, it's so steep, and you've got to, you've got to bend over. You can't stand up, right? So mm. you keep like running down, like forward, like crouch down. I went down backwards. Guy was in front of me, and I went down backwards. And I went down pretty slowly because I was a little concerned about my back because I've had some stuff. And I was like, Jesus, you don't want anything to happen because I don't know how the hell they'd get me out of here. <laughs> and and then. We're getting down to the, it's 80 metres underground and um, I'm yelling out to David and he's not answering and I was like, David, and I was like, can I stand at the end? Because if not, I'm starting to freak out because it's really claustrophobic in there. You know, get right down the bottom and he's like, yeah, you can stand. I was like, okay. And then we get down and there's an even smaller hole that you had to get on your hands and knees and like crawl through. So we did that and then came out into this space and it was just like, oh, Oh my God. And the three of us, we, and the, the crazy guy that was with us turned all our phones off. So there was no light, there was no sound. Oh. Nothing. And we were just silent in there for like 15 minutes. It was mm. one of the most incredible things I've ever done in my life. The energy there was off the charts to the point I found myself later saying to Gaia, we were at this restaurant and just this reality shit, you know? And then I went, Oh my God, I think I prefer the afterlife. And I was like, wow, I just said that. I just said that. I prefer the afterlife. But I went, if that's what death is like, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Let's go. Like, we slept there. We were just, it was amazing. But wow. that's sort of energy. And I know being in Egypt and doing the choice for possibilities, yeah, it changed something there. It changed us being there. And then, you know, they're asking for another class that back there. And I'm like, I'm not so sure. I don't get a big yes at the moment. It's like going there yeah. was amazing. And then where else in the earth, where else in the planet is it asking for us to be, like literally to be? Yeah. Yeah. Different perspective. And what if you started yeah. looking at your business, whatever your business is from a different perspective, asking it what it would like to be, where it would like to be, how it would like to be, what questions do you need to ask it? Very nice and very different. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. And there's so many different topics that we can touch on with wooden infinite being yeah. chooses. We do so have much. coming up. It's the you know, it'll be in the show notes. So please subscribe and uh and we'll we'll send you all the show notes, etc. And we would love you to join us. There is no prerequisites to this call with myself and Kalpana. Uh, and we will we'll go through some stuff, but it's it's your call too. It's like what yeah. questions do you have? Because if you look at all areas of your life, you know, um, with relationships, business, money, uh, you know, your body, the earth, etc. Every every choice you make, ask, would an infinite being choose this? There you go. And if an infinite being wouldn't choose it, why are you? Are you buying into that you're a finite being rather than an infinite being? And everything at that is where you destroy and uncreate it. Yeah, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pot, pot, shorts, boys, bow ads, and beyond. So, ah, so good. <laughs> it, you know what? A finite being is based on judgment. Judgment mm -hmm. is not real. So, what if you nope. stopped judging and started choosing? Yep. yep. Yeah. You guys are so welcome. It's going to be. Lovely. Three calls to go into this huge topic. I'm excited. Anything else you want to add, Kalpana? No, I would, I would say also like there's a lot of energy in this call. There's so many things we opened up. There's so many. And just have like just what is that already opening up for you? You know, let 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 yourself play with what already is here. There's so yeah. much available in every moment. And the less we go into being right or not being wrong and judging ourselves, the more we can function as an infinite being. Yeah. 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 And Gary Douglas, the founder of Access Consciousness, once said, most people would rather be right than be free. Yeah. Finite being is always going to try and be right. And infinite being is going to ask for that freedom, that space, that peace, that joy. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us here and uh, I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you can, can you please, you know, do a review five stars or even write a review or anything like that on anywhere that you're listening to this, because you can watch us on YouTube, there's Spotify, there's Apple, there's all those different choices. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Truly grateful. And for Cal Thank Adore. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Well, did you like this podcast? Love it? Hate it? Inspired by it? Can you do me a favor? Can you please write a comment, share it, like it? If you are listening on Spotify or Apple, could you tick a few stars for us? Leave a review. It's all such a contribution and I am immensely grateful. Follow us on Instagram at Choice Change in Action and drop into our DMs and let us know what you would like next. When you subscribe to the show notes, you will receive a brief summary and any questions or tools we used and links to anything we discussed during the show. It might make your life easier. What if we asked for that? A life of ease, joy, and glory.